everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new my name's Alyssa. thanks for stopping by if you enjoy videos about fashion and music covers and craft share videos you're in the right place so please subscribe if you haven't already like comment share and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever i post today's new. video is a project share and i think it's one of my favorite projects i've made in a long time last video I shared that I had made a journal and this is another journal this one is butterfly themed and I'm so excited to share this with you so if that's something that interests you please continue watching the cover of this journal is um, hand-drawn butterflies in a variety of colors it was on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and I just cut it down to fit the size of the notebook and it's bound by binder rings. This is the first page. You get a little envelope right away. And inside is just a little note card. I rounded the edges on it, but there's not too much uh, exciting about that one. The next page is pretty simple. It just has this butterfly up at the top. It's a die cut butterfly and I added some rhinestone embellishments to it. I'm not sure how well that's showing up on camera. Then we turn the page and we have some sequin butterflies going down the side. Then we have another pocket. I really love this this paper. This is from a Stampin' Up! 6x6 paper pack. And inside is just another note card with rounded edges. <laughs> so this has blue butterflies on the top and the bottom, and then there's kind of a blue envelope. And there's a card inside, let me make sure I get this the right way, that says Spark Joy on it in green lettering with a little blue butterfly in the corner, and then the back is blank to journal on. Okay. Next page just has butterfly at the bottom that's got some sparkles to it and uh, is kind of raised off the page a little bit. It's like a dimensional, it's a dimensional butterfly there at the bottom and then you have the rest of the page to write on. Little kind of 3D butterfly at the bottom of this page. And then there's another envelope. And you'll notice that I've secured the envelope to the page with these little butterfly stickers. And most of the envelopes in this journal have that feature. The card in this envelope has a similar butterfly to what's on the facing page and says, be kind. It's that same blue cardstock that the last card was and then on the back it's blank. Another packet. There's some red and pink butterflies on the top and bottom of this page uh, similar to the other page that had the blue butterflies and this card is one of my favorite designs I've ever come up with. This is a it looks like a bouquet of flowers but it's all made from butterflies and most of them are foiled. And then you have yarn for the stem and a red butterfly there, kind of at the base of the bouquet. And then again, the back is blank. And this page just has some more of these red butterflies going down the side of it. This page has some more die cut butterflies going down the edge. Um, these are kind of pink and some of them are glittery. And this page, this was really fun because I ordered a card kit from Stampin' Up! that was butterfly themed. So this is one of the cards from that kit. You'll notice the pretty scalloped edging on the envelope and the pattern on the inside. And then when we pull the card out, it just has these really pretty die cut butterflies over the top of um, some kind of ombre color. And then the inside is completely blank. I intentionally left the inside of this card blank because the envelope is just stuck down with double-sided tape. So if you wanted to, you could pull the envelope out of the journal 
and send a card to somebody and still have that page to journal on. The next page is another one of those cards from the card kit. So again, you can take this envelope out and it's got it's got some different color on the inside. I think that one's pink. Um, but again, has that really pretty scalloped edge to the envelope. And then this card is in the shape of a butterfly. I love this one. I just added some little rhinestones and it opens up and is blank on the inside like that. So that's that card. This page has some that you can kind of see through them a little bit. And then there's rhinestones in the middle of them. So there's three there. And then this page has a couple of chipboard butterflies. So they're raised up off of the page, but you can still write on it. This page has stickers, butterfly stickers going down the side of it. Then we have these sparkly butterflies that I used to um, tape down the flap of some of the envelopes earlier. So there's that. Then this is the last page, but I feel like I missed one. So these have some of those blue foiled butterflies going down the side of it. Hold on a second. I missed a page after this dimensional butterfly. This one just has stickers on the bottom. Can you see that? And after the Be Kind Butterfly card, this page has a couple of foil um, stickers. And then this page has some chipboard butterflies in a bunch of different colors that I just love. I think that I really like how that page turned out. That is my butterfly journal. Uh, this will be up in my Etsy shop probably sometime after the first of the Alyssa popping in to say that this video was recorded before New Year's and is going up after New Year's. So it's the first video of 2023. Happy New Year. And uh, the journal that I'm featuring in this video is now available on my Etsy shop. I'm really enjoying making these journals. Uh, it's been a lot of fun and a good way to get through some of my stash. If you enjoyed this video, if you did, please consider subscribing and check out my Etsy shop and my Instagram link down below so that you know when I post new items like this one. If you have ideas for a few other journals that I will share once they are complete. This is my favorite one so far. If you don't know, I love butterflies. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can check out my crafting playlist. If you go to the main page of my channel, uh, it's under playlists. I have a few different playlists set up. If you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.